Hi, I'm Steve, a Service Delivery Manager for QuickBooks Online. Today, we're going to be walking you through the Month End Review feature. Let's go ahead and see this in action. Advisors can easily track the reconciliation for each QBO client they service right from the QBOA client list. Straight away, the Month End Review column is giving a high-level overview as to how they're tracking on completing a client's month end. When clicking inside the month end column, you get a pop-out menu with the task to complete for month end. This provides the advisor with an overview of the client's progress with what is done and yet to be completed. You can see these are grouped into three common review sections. There's transactions to review, account reconciliation, and final review. This follows the standard workflow process that most accountants will complete for month end review. Each review section has associated workflows, so beneath each header, we can see the typical task to be completed. QuickBooks has pre-filled the most common month-end task to save you time. Of course, you can edit month-end tasks per client, so let's take a look. By clicking on View Details next to Transaction Review, you can dive directly into the client file to begin the first stage of the month-end workflow. The month will always be the month before the current date. However, advisors can toggle between any month they wish to review simply by selecting the pencil icon at the top to change the period. Month end review looks at the cumulative fiscal year to date figures, which means any changes made after a month has been processed will be automatically picked up in the next month. So think about the overall month end process. As mentioned, generally before you start your account reconciliation, you want to make sure that your QuickBooks account is up to date. At the top of the transaction review section, QuickBooks will alert you if there's any unreviewed bank transactions and checks the data to proactively identify common bookkeeping errors. Right now, these check automations include uncategorized transactions, which are transactions using uncategorized expenses, assets, or expense and income accounts. We also have transactions without payees, so these are money out transactions that may be missing a supplier. This is a great one for bookkeepers that like to have more completed data in QuickBooks. Advisors can click into each transaction to investigate and once the error is resolved, return to the review screen. Looking at the uncategorized transactions, there's a few open issues. There are some uncategorized transactions from deposits, journal entries, expenses and checks. You have the ability to dive into the transaction straight from this window to fix it. I know this expense is for the owner's website and should go to their marketing expense account. And done. Cleared. There's also an additional item spot at the bottom. This allows you to make sure that you have everything taken care of for the transactions in QuickBooks. QuickBooks has created other suggestions like checking personal transactions, reviewing loan payments, and recording cash transactions. Clicking the link will take the advisor directly into the chart of account list to perform their checks and uncover any potential errors. While QuickBooks does suggest a few tasks, Month and Review allows advisors to create custom checks using any QuickBooks report or other locations within QuickBooks. With just a click, you can add your own items such as this. Let's say I've set up my client with an expense account called Ask My Accountant. I'm going to create a check to review these transactions and assign them to the correct account. And you can add an internal QuickBooks link for this transaction report. Simply right click to save that link address and place it right here. When you save, you'll have a link that's embedded directly to that transaction listing, saving you even more time. Once transaction review is finalized, I can get started with my account reconciliation. The next tab is for working papers. This is where you can easily identify all the transactions and accounts that need to be reconciled. This section allows advisors to see at a glance the reconciliation status of their client accounts and again create custom checks for other key accounts. QuickBooks will automatically display all bank and credit card accounts how many transactions are reconciled, and the last reconciled date. And just like the transaction review process, you can easily mark the progress of items. 
Let's say I'm waiting for the client or a team member in the firm to finish the reconciliation of these accounts. I simply mark the status here and I may even add an additional item to identify that I'm waiting for this to be completed before I do my final review. Once key accounts have been reconciled, advisors can begin the final review. The review phase is the final arbiter for checking everything in the accounts. In the final review tab, advisors can quickly run the balance sheet or profit and loss for a sanity check. These predefined checks built by QuickBooks will automatically default to the correct date range for advisors to review. And again, you have the option of establishing any other checks or final steps that you wish to complete.